you know, it's massive, massive flooding. A vulnerable area with housing that's flimsy. The homes they live in, in many cases, are just cobbled together with wood that they find. When Hurricane Matthew swept through Haiti, it left behind flooded homes and blocked roadways. People have been left stranded, waiting for assistance and for the water to recede so they can return to their homes. Pure Water for the World Executive Director Carolyn Crowley received this video on Tuesday. Her first reaction? Oh my God, this can't be happening to the Haitians again. I mean, they're the one of the poorest countries in the world. The nonprofit organization provides clean water to vulnerable areas year round. But the moment Matthew hit, she says her team in Haiti sprang into action. They live in these communities. They're from these communities. They work in these communities. They're the ones that can be part of the solution. Crowley says three solutions are in the works. Assessing the damage done in the area, providing hygiene safety training, and working together with other emergency organizations. She says waterborne diseases are a major concern which is why hygiene safety training is a priority. How can we be mobilized to help these populations that um, are at risk of these deadly diseases? Crowley says Haiti is a health emergency every day, not only when a natural disaster hits. It has been every day since the earthquake hit, every till the hurricane hit, it's an emergency today as well. In Rutland, Helena Batapaglia, NBC 5 News.